a very interesting day today. You like the shirt? We have our first live auction going on on Instagram today. So that's at 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight and we're doing it at our warehouse. Fingers crossed that this goes well. We're expecting a decent amount of people to show up and we're gonna be selling some crazy stuff like this. Space Jam t-shirt is gonna be sold tonight. Hopefully it goes well. Um, until then, I'm gonna head up to the warehouse. I got some boxes in that I need to go through. So come with me guys, should be a fun day. Thanks for watching, thumbs up the video. It's gonna be a long one, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Let's go. boxes of hopefully good stuff to show you guys. <laughs> Both of these are international purchases. This one is from the Philippines and this one is from the UK. So let's start with the smaller box from the Philippines. So right on top, got a Disney Lion King hat. That's from the Broadway musical. Not super valuable or rare, but Pretty cool hat. Looks like a Harry Potter tee. Harry Potter shirt. Got a Bulls tee. Made in USA on the Lee Sport tag. Good size, 1996. Schedule on the back. <laughs> it's a porn star tee. All right. Got a Adidas piece. Nice all over print. Adidas, single stitch t-shirt. Doors, newer print, doors tee. Single stitch, Iron Maiden, the clairvoyant shirt. Super boxy, but cool print. Got a Just Do It Nike shirt, 1991. No tag, but Nike hit on the sleeve, single stitch, pretty sweet tee. Ah, uh, this looks like one of those Elmo Sport shirts. I ain't no pussycat. <laughs> looks like a Garfield shirt, pretty sweet. This is one of those uh, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, 1995 t-shirts. Nice back hit on that as well. This is a pretty packed box. For a small box, there's a lot of stuff in here, so. What do we got? Jordan T, Washington Wizards, 2001. Jordan on the front of it. Opening night, Wizards shirt. Got a Spider-Man T on the changes. Tag, single stitch. That one's pretty sweet, I like that one. Old Hanes tag, little Reba McIntyre, yeah. Disneyland Resort tag. Pirates. This is one of those Calvin Klein rip-off tees on the changes tag. This one's cool. This one's cool. I'm a big Foghorn Leghorn fan. <laughs> I do like this shirt. Dated 1996 Warner Brothers. That's a good one. I like that one. A little Three Stooges shirt. Okay. It's good stuff. I don't know what we're into this. I have to call Mike because I think Mike bought this one. Um, so I don't know exactly what we're into it, but so far decent stuff. It's pretty sweet. What is that? Oh, wow. Marvin the Martian. That's a sweet shirt. I really like that one. Very cool. Nice, we got all of them on there. Is this one dated? Not dated, but definitely 90s. What do we got? When the Angels Sing. Oh, this is the Offspring, Pennywise, Agent Orange. Dang, this is pretty cool. I guess Memorial T on the giant tag, medium. Wow, you don't see Pepe Le Pew tees very often. On the changes tag, size extra large. 1994. Pepe Le Pew. Ooh, Pinky and the Brain. Nice. Nice, with the little back hit on it too. Mac World Expo. Interesting, on the old Delta tag. The Creative World, New York, 1998. I actually don't know much about what this is, Mac World Expo. I probably should. I'm assuming it's something to do with Apple. Pretty sweet t-shirt. Blind Skateboards tag, I believe. Yes. Blind. These are good, these are collectible. Little blind box logo. Nice. Dr. Evil with the big front graphic. One million dollars. Well, that was a terrible Dr. Evil impression. <laughs> uh, dated 1998, that's sweet. Looks like we got an Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper Torture 2000 shirt. This looks like liquid blue. Shloop, I am right. Coral Reef shirt, it's a good tee. We usually get like 70 bucks for this one on the legit liquid blue tag. Nice, this is actually a pretty valuable tee. It's the uh, Sesame Street, Kermit, Tommy Hilfiger. So it's Kermy Hill Flipper. Date on the front of it, no date on it, but definitely 90s. I really like this one, I might keep that one actually. That's cool. Oh, it's a small one. Maybe Allie will want it. Very cool. Looks like another liquid blue. Is this the same tee? No, this is the uh, Oceana one. Oceana, 1993, liquid blue shirt. 
that's cool. If they're the same size, we might be able to sell them together. That's a size large. That's a size large. Yeah, so maybe we can put these up together. Shadow of Rome. This is an old Capcom game, Shadow of Rome. It's like an all over print. I don't usually like location tees, but that's a pretty sweet all over print Miami Beach t-shirt. Single stitch, nice shirt. We got the Flame Boy World Industries. Smaller one as well, but nice skate tee. You guys remember Rocky and Bullwinkle? Slightly before my time too, but I like the graphics, very sweet. I like that one. 1993, very nice. Oh, very cool, I didn't even notice that. World Cup 1994 Looney Tunes shirt. Got all the characters on there. Bugs, Porky, Wiley, Sylvester, Taz, everybody's on there. Another Three Stooges, yeah. Three Stooges, dated 1998. Got an adult swim tag. Dang, that's so cool. Dude, I loved Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's pretty cool. It's got the aliens from Aqua Teen Hunger Force on it on the Adult Swim tag, so pretty cool. Another Three Stooges shirt. All right, on the Tennessee River Gold tag. Got a Logo 7, a V-neck one, but it looks like a Chicago Bulls championship shirt. Still a good shirt. Super Bowl champions, 1995. Shirt explosion. Sweet. That's awesome. Four, five left. One, two, three, four, five shirts left in this box. It's like a Disney California tee. Front and back on that one. There's the Lion King shirt to match the hat. Again, not super valuable, but it is what it is. Uh, Fruit of the Loom tag, my favorite tag. Right there, that Fruit of the Loom, old 90s tag. Werewolf the Apocalypse. It feels, it almost looks and feels like a fashion victim shirt. Um, I don't see, it is dated 1992, but I don't know much about this one. If you guys know anything about this, let me know in the comments. It feels heavy like one of those fashion victim tees, but Fruit of the Loom tag, I don't know. Cool graphic though. Naruto, Naruto shirt. And last but not least, a little Scooby-Doo shirt. Again, a smaller one, but dated 1997. Cool graphic, Scooby-Doo tee. That's everything in that box. Not bad, not bad at all from the Philippines. Like I said, I don't know what we paid for this box, so let me give Mike a call really quick and see what we're into this one for. Hey, I got a box from the Philippines. Do you remember who that is? Yep. Okay, Do you, it's, it's decent. Do you remember how much money we're into it for? 900. 900, okay. I think that's, that's good. With, that's with $200 shipping from the Philippines. Okay, there's some, there's some good stuff in, in here, I think, for 900 though. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's that box. Let's break into the next one. So like I said, this one is from the UK. Um, I actually have like four boxes I'm still waiting for from the UK. Um, they've just been in customs sitting there. Stuff's really slow right now. So I don't know which, what's in this box. It's either a bunch of like different t-shirts or a bunch of the same t-shirt. So let's open it up and find out. All right. <laughs> This is a lot of the same t-shirt. I think there's two different tees in here. Both of them are Michael Jackson. All of them are dead stock on the old European tags. So Michael Jackson ghosts, pretty cool. Actually, before I go on, because these are dead stock, let me test the uh, dry rottenness of them. Oh, that was close, but they're strong. That one's strong, at least it says the collar. We're good, we are good. These t-shirts are good to go. All right, so there's literally, I don't know how many, I think there's a total of like 96 t-shirts and they're all only two different tees. So I'm just gonna go through them until I can find um, the other design and then I'll show you that one. And while I go through them, I'm just gonna test all of them for dry rot, but they seem to be really good. And we usually wouldn't buy this many of the same t-shirts, but we got a good deal. I think we're into these t-shirts for like 15 bucks a piece. And more than likely what we'll do is we'll either like give people personal deals if they want one or two, um, or we'll wholesale them on maybe 10 at a time, not flooding the market, but just gradually releasing them out there and we'll make a couple bucks on it. We're not looking to make a killing on this deal, but. All right, here's the other graphic, I think, yeah. Still Michael Jackson's ghost, but different graphic on the front. It's got the house. Those are the two shirts, this one and this one. Like I said, I think there's 96 tees total, but they're all just those two graphics. All good sizes, size large and extra large. All not dry rot, which is great, so. So next things next, uh, I think this is the area where we're gonna do the live auction on Instagram tonight. So I'm gonna just set it up for that auction. I wanna put some t-shirts on the wall, I wanna make it look nice. Um, I think I'm gonna make a sign that says auction 
and like hang it up there so that people know which piece is currently getting auctioned. But I just want it to look good. I'll put some lights in here. I'll just make it look nice. Um, and shout out Ben and Callie because they actually already like went through all the pieces that we're gonna be putting out tonight and they've put the size and the measurements on the back of all these pieces. So now if I grab something, like this Flintstones all over print, I can just go, guys, it's on a size large tag, measures 22 by 28. Or here we go, Indiana Jones all over print, size XL, measures 23 by 30. So it makes it a lot easier, and then I can just hang it on the wall and people can bid on it. So we'll see what happens with that. I made a backwards auction sign so that when it's on front facing camera, it should say auction. <laughs> See that? Auction. All right, I think we're all set for a decent auction. I got my rack of stuff. I got my wall ready to go. Auction sign up. And I've got my little phone mount ready with the lights and all that good stuff. So hopefully it's gonna be a good turnout. Fingers crossed. We get some good deals and sell some stuff and everybody has a good time. Not bad, not bad. So check it out. We're gonna we're just gonna go back and forth and kind of show you guys some pieces. And uh, the shirt that I'm wearing is not for sale. This is the first time I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is my personal stuff, so I'm gonna start most of it at a dollar, and you guys can just put it up to whatever yeah. it lands at. Look how very cool. sad to see this go. Dude, this is the this is probably the crispiest one I've ever seen. There's like no cracking, which is what's so amazing about it. Yeah. Look at it. Dated 1996. Warner Brothers freeze. It's on the Space Jam tag. This one is a size large, measures 22 by 30 and a half, really good size. And it has the big old Space Jam hit on the back too. Size large Space Jam is up for bid right now, guys. Throw your bids up. We're at 250 right now, so the next bid will be 260 if you're interested in that one. All right, here we go. We're gonna count this down. We're gonna count this down. And this we get a 285. We got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you got it. Beautiful. That one is sold. Today at the Rally Roots Warehouse, we're going to be going over how much these t-shirts sold for. <laughs> the three boxes under there. Hey Mo. So these are all the t-shirts that sold during the live auction. Hey, Except for bid. this one. Yeah, Mr. I'm a bid and then not buy. Yeah. If you're going to bid on live auctions, pay. You're the only person who didn't pay. Did you see he deleted his Instagram account? No. Yeah, he got he got roasted, so he deleted wow. it. Someone bid four hundred and forty dollars on this T-shirt and then just didn't pay. I wonder if they were just trying to bid up someone else no, and ended said, up winning. I don't know. And then blamed it on the size. But everybody else paid, and thank you. We love you all. Appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna go through each piece and tell you guys what it sold for. Space Jam T sold for $276.45. Indiana Jones, $225. Donkey Kong sold for $310. Flintstones went for $230. Lion King went for $220. Street Fighter went for $230. Jurassic Park went for $225. Uh, Godzilla, Godzilla went for $120. Is that the Space Jam crew neck? This no. one went for $200. Mickey, mini, all over print. Well, sure, I'm gonna miss this one. This was mine. <laughs> I did like that one. Yeah, that went for $160. This was another one of my favorites, the Dr. Evil. This one went for 90 bucks, cheap. The Jumanji promo, I think this was the steal of the day. Yeah, this one went for 140. The mini, what does this go for, 25 bucks? 25 bucks. One of my favorite t-shirts, another steal, I think. Aqua Teen Hunger Force tee. This one went for 120. I sold the Comedy Central tee. This one went for 175. Yeah, that's it. And then Mike sold a couple pieces on his 
his uh, page too. He sold that um, Black Magic for three hundred and sixty dollars, Dragon Ball Z for like seventy. So it was a pretty good live show. I mean, how many T's is that? One, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen T's. Would have been sixteen with the Casper, but. Pretty decent. I mean, just on these tees, it was over, it was like $2,400, something like that. Okay. So, not bad. We were live for three hours, and it was a lot of work. That, isn't it? I think so. Well, yeah, because this total. was 24. Yeah. So, it would be 22, 23, 4, 5, 6. It's like $2,700. Cash money. Yeah. So, and it was fun. I mean, it was cool to hang out with, with everybody. We appreciate you all coming in that live. Um, we're going to do it again soon once we get some more pieces. Um, so yeah, follow us on Instagram, Rally Roots, and we'll keep doing it. But thank you all, everybody, for buying stuff. Callie's gonna fold them up and get them shipped out right now. Yeah. And until next time, please hit the thumbs up button on this video, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.